The next thing that we're gonna do is add some navigation to your website. So it could be like home, about, services, our work, contact, all right up here so people can easily get to any page they want on your website. To do that, click on customize. Then what we wanna do is we wanna get rid of this top bar up here. You can barely see it, but there is an extra top bar navigation that we wanna get rid of. So click on top bar, then click general, and uncheck enable top bar. That'll get rid of that top bar up there and we can just go back and go back again. All right, once that's gone, we can go to menus and click add a menu. Name this menu main, cause it's gonna be our main menu and press create menu. Now it's asking us where do we want to display the menu? Do we want it displayed where the top bar is, where the main menu, the footer or mobile? And we wanna display it at the main menu, which is right up top right here. The footer would be at the bottom and mobile would only show on your phone or tablet. So we're gonna click on main menu and we're gonna see the menu right here, but it's displaying the mobile version of the menu just because I need to expand my screen a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But this is what the mobile menu looks like and this is what the real menu looks like when people are browsing our website. So let's add a whole bunch of items to our website. Just click add items. And we're not gonna add this home item because that's a custom link we're gonna add the page that we named called home. So just scroll down a little bit, it says home and it says page next to it. And click the plus button and check off all of the pages and just add them. Now what we can do is we can click, hold and drag to rearrange them because maybe we don't want them in this order. Maybe we want about right below home and our work under about and contact last. And this is gonna rearrange the navigation so it's going to go home about our work services and contact in that order all right once we do that we can see on our website that it has added and just so you know if you wanted to add sub navigation you can do that by clicking and holding and indenting it a little bit that will add sub navigation so if you hover over the menu item it will show the sub menu but we don't want to do that so we're just going to add it back to the way it was and now we can go back and click back again and what we can do now is change the style of the navigation menu maybe we want it to look a little bit different so how do we do that so we can go down and go to header and go to general and select a different style if we want so if we do top menu we can see that it's going to change and it's gonna look like that, which is pretty cool. We can go to full screen, which if we click right here, it will be full screen. We can do it in the center so that our navigation is in the center, but I'm just gonna go with minimal because I like the way that that looks. And here we can change the height if we want to. We can make it really big or really small. I'm just gonna keep it at default. I like that height. And we could do header full width, which expands it all the way to the edges. I'm just gonna keep it normal. And header, border, bottom, I'm gonna uncheck because I don't want a border on there. And now we could change the background color of our navigation menu. So all you do is drag around this to change the color and you can click on green or any of the colors here and choose any color that you want. This is the color hex code and a hex code is just that particular color. So it's a code for that exact color. And if we change the color, obviously the code's gonna change and we can copy this code and use it anywhere on our website. And we'll always have that exact color. So that's pretty cool. I have a color that I wanna use. So I'm just gonna type it in here, 00A3EF. So it's this nice light blue. And now that we've done that, let's actually go back and let's change the way the links look at the top. So the home about our work services contact, let's change the way that looks by going back and clicking on menu. And now we can change all of those options. So we can make this center, we could position this left or keep it right. I like it to the right for now. Then for the link color, let's make it a white. So let's just click, hold and drag to the corner and now I'll turn it white. And for the link color hover, if we change the color and we hover over the link, it will be that color. So it's only when we're hovering. So I have a code for that. Let's just enter it in. It's D1ECFF and it turns it into a slightly lighter blue. And we can copy that and we can use it for other places like current menu item. This is for when you're on the page of the link. So if you click the about page, then it will be this color. 
And if you click the R work page, then it will be this color. So it's the page that's currently active or the page that you're currently on. It will become this color. So let's just paste that in there and everything else looks pretty good. But let's get rid of this search icon right here. We don't want it on our website, but maybe you do, but I don't want it. So I'm just going to disable it. And that looks nice and clean. All right, so we're, now we're just gonna go back and then we're gonna click logo. So we are eventually gonna put a logo in right here, but we're not gonna do it right now. Right now, we're just gonna change the color of that. So I'm gonna make it white and for the hover color, we're gonna again, just make it that light blue. And now we are going to save and publish that and check our work by exiting out of there. And that is looking pretty good. And if you click on any of these, it will go to that page pretty cool. And if we click the logo up here, it will go back to the home page. All right, we're all done adding links to the navigation and changing the color.